Chit Chat is sponsored by Fun Again Games, where everyone is welcome at our table. And your source for hard-to-find imports, liquidation games, new releases, and much more. Be sure to visit funagain.com to check it out. It's episode 100 of Chit Chat, the big one double O, and oh, what an event it is. We're not only going to talk about games, but we're going to be giving away some amazing ones too. All the while, looking back at Chit Chat and all the fun we've had along the way. Welcome back to Chit Chat. It's episode 100. It's what? just It's just me and Emily. Yeah, we I'm, just I'm the kidding. best ones. I'm kidding. Oh, it... Oh. Shots fired. But it's not just me and Emily. Yay! It's all of us. It is episode 100, and most of us are... Out of our seats, excited to be doing. I'm in this. my seat, excited. Whoa. Yes. No, wow, that was like a roller. We got to do a wave. Like. Oh no, we're not doing the wave. We we've been episode 200 is the wave. We've been hyping episode 100 for a couple episodes now. You guys are probably expecting. Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do? Well, it's another episode of chit chat. Right? No, it's but the it's, it's our episode. 100th episode of chit chat. It's not only our 100th episode. This is five years that at least you and i have it, been it doing is chat. it is actually i i recognize that too it has been five years since man vs meeple or mvm has been a thing for the most part yeah uh but chit chat's been going for a hundred episodes once this one's in the books <laughs> uh and we want to celebrate that a little bit we also want to do all this, the chit chatty things that we do uh one of which is giving away some games uh, yeah. If you remember correctly, if you're a Chit Chat fan, and hopefully some of you haven't seen a lot of our Chit Chats, hopefully some of you are here for the very first time, we've got an episode in store for you, and there's going to be some giveaways. We didn't give away anything last episode, uh, but some of our friends uh, in the publishing community have graciously signed on to give us some stuff. So I'm actually going to give them full Ooh. credit here, list all the games that we're going to be giving away from this episode. It is going to work a little bit differently than it has in the past because Ooh. we've got so yeah. many things going you're on You're actually going to have to watch the whole episode. That's just, one change. You're going to have to watch you're going to have to watch the episode. If you skim through it, okay, fine. That's all right. <laughs> if if you want to put in that effort, you can do that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to name these names and then we're going to have something that comes up that gives you kind of the word that you need to put in the subject line of the email that you send to our brand new Ooh. contest email address, mvmcontest at gmail.com. It's right here if I didn't pronounce it well for me for you. Get your email ready. Yeah, so you're going to need to send us an email, and in the subject line, simply put whatever code word we have below. There's going to be a few different code words coming up throughout the episode. One for each game that we're giving away. And the games are... Wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Before you do this reveal of games, I do want to say one quick thing. You're really hyping up the 100, games. 100, 100 episodes, five years. First of all, we've had some great publisher support in our giveaways. Absolutely. And I want to say a huge thank you to every publisher that has ever supported us with a giveaway on Chit Chat, a sponsorship, anything. But these these games... This is maybe the the best giveaway that we've like. Oh, so that was kind of a quality. backhanded compliment to the old. old no, I think we've had a lot of those same publishers supporting us here today. I mean, that I was think, great publishers, but I think, mean, no, on. honestly, no. I just want to say, like, I think that we've gotten like this is a great set of games. Like, I'm very no, excited. No, it is. We wanted to go out of our way to do something really special to celebrate the episode. A lot of publishers are really excited that we've been around doing this for 100 episodes. So, without any further ado, Let's we've got it. things like Nid of Valir, and that's going to come with Thing Valir, which Ooh. is a new game for me. It's been around for a while. Jeremy's been trying to get me to play it for a while. I finally did. He was right. I wasn't necessarily wrong. I just... I'm, I've seen the light, Jeremy. I'm still disappointed, even though you love the game. Yeah, I, <laughs> listen to me. All I want is your approval, Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, so we got Nid of Valir. We've got Wonderland's War. Oh, this fun is one. also coming with the deluxe chipset oh, as well. That's we've nice. got Bard Song, which or Bard Song, which is a massive, massive dungeon dive. This box, we, well, we don't have it because Ryan has it right now. I have it at home. It's on my table but right now. But the box is huge for that one. Merlin Big Box. Speaking of big boxes, this is Merlin with 
all the Merlin y things. Wow. Ark Nova. And do people like Ark Nova around here? Has anyone think heard of that game? I think Ark Nova is. Gotta get it to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the shrink. <laughs> Still in shrink. We're kidding, by the way. Uh, then we've got Rococo. Oh, also I like deluxe that one. Yeah, that's edition. That's a great that's deluxe a edition. One. We've got another Vital Lacerda from, well, uh, not another Vital Lacerda, but another Eagle Griffin Games on Mars with Alien Invasion. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Yeah. I know, I like that one a lot. A very new one from Renegade, My Father's Work, also yeah. a big box. Yeah, that's a that's hot game right now. Uh, another, and the last two, these are both coming from Mind Clash. One of them is Perseverance, All the Things. Oh. So this is the Perseverance Deluxe with Wash on, Ooh, on the minis. That's, oh, it looks so good. And then finally, not an exactly a game quite yet, but you'll be added in to the pledge manager for Septima deluxe edition really yeah, 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 yeah. that's exciting and you can what have my say? copy of initiative that i've never opened <laughs> that, that's that's a free hey, one man, we that, already gave that, that is actually i was gonna steal that i was gonna use that as our memory to talk about but i was just like <laughs> it was opportunity oh, it was a callback is, to something that we used to talk that is, about that is a good but memory. it was given away in a previous chit chat yeah it was that so, was a great that was a great moment too yeah. that was a good moment yeah. speaking of memories that's one of the things we were going to talk about we weren't we weren't we're not gonna bore you like our home movies we haven't invited you over to our house to show you like when i was oh, five but i would i you would you would love to see david when he was I mean, it's five. pretty good videos to be honest <laughs> but we are going to share some of our favorite memories from chit chat uh but we're also going to do like i said the chit chatty things we're going to talk about games we've been playing but before we get to any of that i also want to announce a big thing we talked about it jeremy spilled the beans a couple episodes ago that we're all working on our top 50s yeah. he even i love this you posted like your well, like your office space, and you had like your list in the distance. Yeah. The degree to which people in our Discord yeah. zoomed in yeah. and analyzed <laughs> yeah. to try to figure out, oh, I yeah. think that's such and such yeah. at his number seven. I worked really hard at, at like just the right distance. And I was like, it's not, and that's not going to matter. If people want to find it, it almost they'll felt find like out. some sort of seek and find yeah. game. Oh I was saying all kinds of stuff in our in our Discord chat too. Like, hey, what's your 14th favorite game yes. of all time. Yeah, when you really like, zoom in, though, just, to yeah. the top 10 I saw it, it said, never going to give you up. Right. There you go. <laughs> that You've been, been rickrolled. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Been. This is whatever. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm getting at is we have our top 50 coming. And we've been promising it for a couple episodes. We've alluded to it. Well, I can tell you right now, we've recorded a lot yeah. of it. Yes. A lot. Uh, as you can see, Get all ready. four of us are yeah. here. So we've been doing some recording this week. Uh, in fact... You know, spoiler alert, we just recorded our final top our 10. Top, top our 10. Top part of that 10 50. of all time. And I can tell it's you, it's good. there is some wild titles. There are some seriously <laughs> oh, wow. shocking titles. Not just in the top 50, but j even within the top 10, there are moments when I... I'm just going to say if, this. Uh, surprising. If you can, this is separate from these games we're giving away. But if anyone, prior to posting... First of all, got to join our Discord because this is where it's happening. Join our Discord. And if you can guess what Emily's number six? Number six. Number six favorite game of all time is without contacting her and offering her some of the winnings, <laughs> then I will get you a copy of her number six Which game. Which is a great game. It's never going to happen. Six. Don't even start. Don't even start. Say it's, it's in it another video. It was so out of left field for me that I like... The look, I, I need to go back and see the look on my face. <laughs> I will say, when she said it, I think our all of our collective looks went from what the to I yeah, don't want to play it, this game as she described it. I'll say, you, you people at home watching our video, when you get to the top 10, you will not be disappointed. No, no, it's, I don't, good, it's out fun. of we out of like the you know possibly 40 games that we may have talked about in our top 10, I don't think a single one was disappointing. Or doesn't belong there. I think sure. we had such a solid... Even, even our top 50s were so solid. Yeah. I don't think people are going to have a chance to even argue with it's anything an on our, our top 50. It's an interesting collection of games. Mm -hmm. uh, even individually interesting collections of games. But then when you consider all four of us, yeah. it's a wildly interesting collection of games. And I we're think. doing them in pairs. So leading up yep. to the top 10, we did... Jeremy and I did some together. I did yep. some with Jeremy. It's over here. And over there. Basically, yeah. every combination you will get to see two of us at a time talking about exactly. them in the 50 to 41, 40 to 31. And then the top 10 is all four of us at once. Yeah, yeah it's, get, get to know us, right, too. Like, that, this, this helps you. 
you know our top 50, you know Jeremy's top 10, you know what Jeremy likes, you know what kind of games he recommends, right? Yeah. And I think this is a really good chance. People have been asking for this for years. Well, Jeremy said it in the video. You're going to get to know Jeremy Howard. Yeah, I, I feel like exposed now. You know? <laughs> I feel like, but but I think uh, you'll learn about like my, I always say like I have a wide range of taste and some people know that who follow me, but you know, I get excited about a tiny little card game and then here I am saying it's better than, you know, a big time Euro or whatever. Yeah. Well, you'll see that this is you'll where I rank them. Out. Like yeah. this is where I rank them. And, uh, you know, I always say fun is simple, so it's going to be simple. I, I think that's a good theme for all of our top 50s. Fun is yeah. simple, and that is kind of rules the day of how I think yeah. we all approach it yeah, to I some degree. I think a lot came out during that top 50, but I think Jer like that was very therapeutic, it seemed, Jeremy. Like, I mean, there was a, like, we brought a lot into that. There's I mean, a lot I don't... Of weight off my shoulders. <laughs> I'm going to hug my wife tighter. I mean, like, I, I feel great. I feel, I feel free. Like, I don't want to overhype the last final 10 yeah. but it's a video yeah it's part of video it's a video and it's a it's a piece of video yeah. too so yeah. it, it will we'll get those up hopefully you're watching this and they will be coming very soon and we'll trickle those out over a couple weeks time or something like that mm -hmm. but now we're going to get to episode 100 of chit chat mm -hmm. uh i i don't know who's going to start but we're going to kind of share sort of a favorite chit chat moment if you will chit chat's been a little all over the place yeah. we've had all sorts of different people involved with chit chat we've had all sorts of different formats we've had guests come on the show all sorts of crazy things but i want to start with ryan because he has a very well i won't spoil it but ryan share well, your favorite chit chat moment. honestly i think one of my favorite moments, looking back on chit chat i had an opportunity um my partner got pregnant over the course and uh, since we've had our, our my son oliver who is Phenomenal. He's actually starting to play his own board games. It, oh. it's, a, it's amazing to look back at this, how long ago this was, how long we've been doing this. But I actually had the opportunity to announce like his upcoming birth live uh, on Chit Chat to surprise all of you. Yeah, and I, I remember it. I, I There was this moment of like, I was like, everyone, I have an announcement. And that the trumpet of everyone, you, that look. You were like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I want to go back and watch the reaction. And I might even like have that footage playing right now it was, but it was i i feel like experience. i remember feeling like oh i bet i know what it oh, is you really you thought you might know i could be completely wrong but i think i did i think i was thinking that there, yeah gary did not know gary oh, no. was sitting gary was like what are you t and i and i was able to deliver the news or having a baby he's coming soon That's exciting. and there was like just to see your see all of your reactions and get that like immortalized on camera i'm just really glad that i was able to do that and then we have it, the format to make that announcement and so many positive messages came through so many positive comments yeah. of you know uplifting comments and congratulations it was just really cool to be able to share that with the community at the same time i shared it with with all of you that so, was nice one of the things that i like about i mean the channel in general but chit chat specifically because i feel like a lot of the people who consistently watch have become more and more part of for lack of a better way of putting it like the mmvm family there's people out there that we know, mm -hmm. we interact with a lot. But when we share more personal stuff like that, I feel like it's always nice. And it, mm -hmm. uh, it, it reminds me that it's really not just about like, hey, here's the next board game all the time. So yeah. that was a nice but, moment. Yeah. I do, now that I think of it though, my reaction was mostly because we were probably trying to wrap up the show. Yeah. Didn't and we, we were like, like you know what I mean? We were about to like close it down. It's and, all right, all right. And, and loose cannon over here goes, "I've got an announcement to make." And we were like, "What is happening?" Right. I didn't. I didn't tell anybody beforehand that I was gonna. No, he oh didn't. Oh my god, that's so funny. Anything. He did because I, I wanted to see. I wanted their. And now I'm vividly some, remembering it. I wanted that look of like because there was ever that moment of like because I remember talking to you afterwards and you're like I had literally no idea what you were. About. Yeah. No. Like, like what? What are you doing? Sure. Like you might have known. I think people kind of knew that. You know that this was an announcement was coming, but having that having that opportunity was really cool. That was nice. Yeah. So, so it was a heartwarming moment. Emily, I'm going to bounce over oh, to you because you. Emily is probably the newest, shortest life on yeah. Chit Chat. Say, thus far. The, don't say the shortest life. The new, the newest the member newest of our member Chit, Chat of Chit Chat. I know. I was searching here. for my words. I apologize. The uh, shortest lived. <laughs> well, you don't have to double down on it. <laughs> Uh, but in, in in your time with us here on Chit Chat, which has been fantastic, by the way, Thank I you. think I can speak for all of us. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, no, I yes, agree. I Absolutely. approve your message. Everyone, every. every <laughs> <Jeremy>. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Howard, and I approve this message. He's like you, 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 you guys all good. This all right, man, make it weird. This everyone, is not the time to check and make sure everyone's cool everyone. with Emily being here. By the way, let's just. I never really um, asked. 
I have concerns. <laughs> oh my god. Jeremy wins best callback of the episode for sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back several chit chats to find that one. Uh, what I do want to happen though right now, if you're watching this live, first of all, thank you for watching live as this is airing. But I wanna see our likes and well I don't want to see any dislikes, but I wanna see our thumbs up for the video. Imagine you're doing a thumbs up for Emily being part of the channel. Yeah, that's okay. a big thumbs up. Because that way I'm, we're going to get a lot more thumbs up. Okay, oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's, I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you have, you've had less chit so, to draw from, but we've had some true. good memories. I will say, like, when I first started with the channel, I was a little bit hesitant just because I'm not somebody who really likes to go on camera or, like, likes to have the center of attention on me at all. So I was a little bit worried about, like, yeah, this. <laughs> 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 but... What my favorite memory is, is not like one specific moment, but every time before we record these chit chats, we're like actually just chit chatting. Like before the cameras come on. Goofing off is what we call it. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. And it's so, what I really enjoyed after that first episode even was that the energy we have right before is the same energy we have on camera. And it just feels like a continuation. Like it's not like, okay, and now we're on. Okay, and now I got to get my chit chat persona. It's like, chit chat. (laughs) Same things. Like, we're literally doing the same thing. Find it. <laughs> Find it. And, like, these guys have been cracking up every time. And so it's just, it's so fun to come into these episodes where, like, you've been laughing and joking around. Or sleeping. Then, or sleeping. Or sleeping. Or sleeping. More on that later. <laughs> hey, you got to get a nap when you can get a nap. And you it really, get it really has made me feel more comfortable, like, on the channel, being in front of the camera. And I enjoy that because I get to, like, tell you all my perspective and my opinion. Um, so it's really made it feel more comfortable for me, and that's my favorite moment. No, oh, I do. I that do. is sweet. I, I feel like my moment is gonna be lame now. I do love that. I do love that we have the the chance, and hopefully you know this if you're watching that this is just us being us. Yeah. Like I think a lot of people maybe have personas for their characters that they come on the screen to be. You know, we just try to be ourselves, and I think if you hang out with any one of us at a convention. This is what you're going to get at the table. Yeah. Yeah. Literally this. So with that said, please hang out with us at a convention. <laughs> if you're not liking what you're seeing, give it I a shot. So many members have had the chance to do that. And then that's been fun too. Yeah, that's a lot of great. Yeah, the, in, what I will say to that is it's so true because there's times that we're talking before chit chat and all that's happening. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, let's save it for the camera. Let's yeah, save like, it for the camera. Well, well, take this discussion. Don't burn this out now because this is good stuff. Well, sometimes we get so excited talking about, like, when we choose a subject. I was we'll going to say, we change the topic yeah, sometimes. We're like, we're we're like we're actually, that might be better. <laughs> right. And we start talking yeah. about it. We're like, whoa, 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 stop. We're, we're talking about it now. Yeah. Should, should that's be talking that's about next it episode. That's yeah. another good, another <laughs> right. good episode. Uh, so, Jeremy, you've been here a fair amount longer than Emily, but I was actually doing a little research. Uh, because I do have some like trivia questions Ooh, to ask uh, the three of you in a moment, and I couldn't. I was trying to think when you first came on Chit Chat. Oh, his first Chit Chat appearance. I, I, I couldn't remember it, but you, you've been on the for 60s, a bit. So. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yes. I mean, you were on you, not consistently right. all the time. Oh no, no, no. You no, popped no. on every once in a while. No, um, and now we've got you on MVM North. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep. In the control booth. There you go. Uh, the there it is. Booth. Another callback. Um, so, I, you know, I, I just think that, like, I was trying to think all these memories, which I do have, and I just think all the little jokes that we have and stuff like that, because I try to come on with a sense of humor and bring out some of those things. That and he's got one. Just come through. We and, hadn't you know, noticed. Jeremy. Like, kind of break it up a tad, right? Like, even break up what we have a tad. And I just think about, overall, this is the show that I watched for a long time. I was, you know, I was a MVM fan before I was part of MVM. And I was very lucky to join this team and to be on the, the show that you, you know, you watch as a oh, fan man, and enjoy it I was just so here. cool. Like Sweet. it was so cool. And I was able to be in the moment cause I'm very comfortable. But at the same time, it was like, damn, you know, like I'm in this, like I have a part in this and this is cool. And then we are just, our team has been so strong and I, I'm like, I'm just thankful and I've enjoyed the ride. And here we are, like, I'm even a part of a hundred. It's like, that's kind of crazy. Like, it's just crazy to me. And I, and I think there's just not, not one memory because I can recall so much silly, small things. But like to be here, be on the show that I like wanted to be on. 
It's kind of cool. You're going to legit make me choke up. <laughs> Stop it right now. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I, I just I was thinking about it. You know, all the little quippy jokes I was making, and I was just like, no, I'm just very excited that I'm on a show that I watch forever, and it's like I'm part of this. We're very that excited that you are part of awesome. this. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to take. My, I might have to edit this out because I'm legit <laughs> I'll, trying. Yeah, to I know. I'm myself. like, oh my god. Let I'll me. Say, you know what? Actually, I, I was gonna. I'm not crying, but there you go. <laughs> hey, I mean, whatever. I, hey. It's dry in here. If I if I had a wish, it would be my my biggest regret. I, I guess that you live so far that we can only yeah. do these episodes together so often. Yeah. I would love it if we could do every chit chat oh, like yeah. this with uh. you and like. And so that's, that's it has been a blast when switch. we do it this way. I mean, aside from the fact that these chairs barely fit in here, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Funny fantastic. Uh, one of my favorite moments. This is not my favorite moment, by the way. Yeah. But I did want to mention a couple things. One was when we were able to do this at the Buckeye Game Fest. Oh, yeah. And we're all doing it live. Yeah. We, we were kind of with a live audience. Yeah. And so we've never cool. done anything like that. We've never done anything like that at a big con or anything like that. And it was nice to get our feet wet doing that because... Oh my God, I'd love to do that in almost every I convention. want to. Yeah. I really think we should. I think that was such an up, like it was so much more energy in the room. They were such a great audience. And they was. were. If yeah, you're watching good questions, this, like, exactly. Yeah, we took questions. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. different for us. Just, yeah. wants, just thank you for being there in that live audience yeah. because you guys were so much fun and ha- like everyone seemed to be having a great time. Yeah. 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 Fun. So, again, they were teasing me before we started this about my favorite moment. And you got that Michael Scott. It's it, <laughs> yeah. every moment were, has been my favorite they moment. They were, equating, <laughs> they were equating me to Michael Scott from The Office, which I kind of take offense <laughs> to, but no, also it, kind of not. You just look a little bit like Steve Carell. I, I have heard that at times. Anyway, um, I, this isn't really a moment, but I do like sort of the. This is going to sound super sappy, but really the journey that we've been on this entire time and how things have changed. We've had a lot of different people, a lot of different faces here on the channel, obviously here on Chit Chat. I've enjoyed a lot of it from the very beginning all the way up to where we are now. What I'm most happy about is like the fun that we're having right now. This mixture of Mm -hmm. the people that we have here on Chit Chat plus the community, specifically the people who've been really been a big part of our Discord community. Really yeah. just awesome. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean that's a that's a good moment. I mean I'll I have to agree with you. Like this is this is maybe right now I'm having maybe the most fun I've ever had being part of MVM. Just just with the Discord community thriving and having so much fun. And you know, even just getting on those Wednesday live streams and seeing the same faces yeah. come up. And knowing every Wednesday that Jay How is going to pop in the comments <laughs> randomly and say, "Hey, Until Ryan's cheating." Ryan's cheating. <laughs> so, like, I mean, those mover moments, of resources. <laughs> it's just me. It's Ryan, comedy. mover of resources. I'm the resource That's guy. Gonna, if we do merch anytime soon, we're going to have a shirt. <laughs> I'm the resource man. It's going to be a picture. It's going to be. It's going to be, be Ryan a picture with, of Jeremy that says Ryan's cheating, and it's going to be Ryan on top, and he looks like Swiper. <laughs> oh my gosh! If I ever cheat, Ryan, one, quit swiping. <laughs> I'll tell you, like. <laughs> Ryan, doesn't, Ryan doesn't, doesn't cheat, cheat, by the way, no, not, on no, 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 not, just not on purpose. I'm just a troll. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm but a troll. I, I like I, to troll. I'll, I'll tell you what. You don't know until you're doing it. What? You get on those live streams, and you get to that moment, and you, David goes, so what about this situation? And then you freeze, and you're like, I don't no. know. And you just kind of got to, like, <laughs> you're live. The rule yeah. book's over there. Like, yeah. I'm just like, wing oh, it. <laughs> there, might are, be the wrong... there are some fun moments just being live on something i mean <laughs> I, I tell people if you want to go into it go into it you'll understand how fun it is but also how nerve-wracking well it can you know be. what that's true yeah. like i want to take i know we've talked a little bit about this subject but i want to quickly shout out i'm so happy like when when the covid happened and lockdown happened yeah, I was like, where are you going? This is go, a very strange go. direction. Next sentence is very important. I am yeah. super no, happy like, for We were so disconnected from each other, yeah. but the fact that we were able all to still get together and do those virtual chit chats yeah. where we actually kind of were able to live stream from our own homes and still connect with our community. That was a and little... Still that like, was a little tricky to get through. It, it was tricky to get through, and I'm, I'm glad that we did that. Yeah. It came with so many technical struggles, so many last minute, like, you know, power failures and internet failures and... All just all this stuff, but the fact that we were able to maintain our relationship with our community and still keep chit chat going through that really tough time, I think that was that was great. I'm glad that we were able to yeah. do that. Yeah, and I think from situations like that, and then just from the experience of doing more and more chit chats, more and more content on the channel, 
we are constantly having new ideas. I know we've sat here in these very chairs and said, hey, we're going to do more of this and more of that. And we are. We've done a little bit of that and a little bit here and maybe not as much as we thought we would on some other things. Um, But it's been a constant learning process. And as much of a struggle as that is at times, it's also something that I think keeps us all going because we're, I mean, we were just talking till like, Nearly 3 a.m. last night. Yeah. Too late. Emily had gotten a little loopy, so she <laughs> was a little, yeah. Like, it was a good time last night. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we were talking a lot last night about how we wanted to do things mm-hmm. and, like, the kind of content we want to get out there. And it's been fun, you know. And we have some yeah. great stuff coming. Every time, every time one of these guys say, oh, David's going to have these fireworks and crazy special yeah. effects in this video. I mean, try to make it fun. now I feel like I'm going to have to do that while I'm doing this. We right said, now, Shre- gonna, streaky be... eagles right now. <laughs> I want fireballs coming out of my head okay, right now. Everybody I'll, do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like you just, you know, everything has to be done in post. So yeah. this is a perfect example. There's pressure that comes along with that because we want to elevate our content and have fun and do those sorts of things. So we'll try to do that. I hope I can get the Hadouken I, fireball. I'll never the screen, forget though. the Rift Force explosion. The Rift Force, was, Rift Force explosion was great. But it's it's that type of fun that I think where we've come to now. And I think the chemistry we have, all four of us on camera, us individually yeah. in pairs. Yeah. Great is, chemistry. Is really well, good. Yeah. And I have a lot of fun with Ta- it. For, yeah. Like watching our top 50 as we pair up and just seeing the different vibe of the way that we all yeah. interact in pairs. It was a lot of fun. It's, it a lot of, it's a lot of fun to see how differently, like Jeremy and I have a very different yeah. on camera relationship than David and I have. Like the way that we talk to each other and the way that we handle like our reviews. If you ever see us do uh, reviews or that, what we did that Raiders of Cynthia live stream, yeah. which was an absolute that blast. That was absolute blast. Oh I would my love gosh. to do more stuff oh, like that. Oh, that was so fun. And they just recorded a review yesterday. We'll probably be talking yeah. about that game yeah. in a minute yeah. or yeah. two. Yeah. Uh, but before, does anyone else have any... Like chit chat moments before I yeah, all of them. grill you all on chit chat. All 100 episodes of them. No. Every chit chat. No, let's get to the trivia. Let's get to the trivia. Let's get to the trivia. This is wait, just a little it. something I wanted to do to kind of challenge these guys with like a couple questions, but feel free to play at home. Uh, these are just little factoids. About Ryan's them. like, are we keeping score? No, Who's I'm, the <laughs> let, me talk, let me get out my BGG stats app. Um, <laughs> is this a published no. game? <laughs> what year was this published? What, what, what kind of trivia are we talking about? Is, my question. Well, is this like generic that. trivia? You'll Ryan wants out. all the rules. Go, let's I go. Just, I want to see Ryan on he Jeopardy. Do I buzz or do I just shout the Wait, is this really Jeopardy? Or are we like, are oh, we doing a variant? in the form of a question? Is it? <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to let you guys, you know what? We'll treat it as a co-op. Oh. Okay. For the most part, because Emily was around when I wrote at least one of the questions, so okay, she's disqualified. Have, you wrote it in front of her? You were like, Emily, I'm going to write this question down. Yeah, you think I've had these for weeks? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fresh off the press. All right, what you got? What All you right, got? All right number one, on what date, and we'll take the closest guess, Okay. on what date was the very first chit-chat posted on MVM? I know this. I know the Ryan month. probably has the best guess. He I, was there. I, I was there. I know that, and I know exactly what we talked about in our very first. What was that? It, our very first episode ever was Gen Con wrap up. I think 2017. I was going 2017 to say 2017 Gen Con wrap up. So September, say August 5th. I think it was September, early September is what I. No, it would have to be after that. So August, yeah, August 5th, 2017. Because Gen, Gen Con August that year 5th. was like mid to end August. So wow, it had to I be like, early September. I like watching wow. you guys walk through the logic. I'm just here. saying, I remember Any the guess? topic. Any random guess? I, I was going to say somewhere in 2017 because I think you guys said it's been like five years. Yeah. But the I will leave these That answers. was my first Gen Con. So it was Gen Con 50, right? No, it wasn't Gen Con. That wasn't Gen Con. 2017, I thought. Yes, it was Gen Con 50. 50. I don't think so. Yeah, we're not going to argue that. I don't know. I'm going to say I thought it was earlier, like the last week of July. So I'm going with August 5th, 2017. It was definitely September. I think September 2017. Some day. Okay, well, I'll say September 27th because that's okay. It was early September. Oh, okay. A little hint there. There Yeah, some presents. Send them to her address. Uh, No, you're all very close, and I like the way you walk through there. It was September. But it was the fourth. It was almost like a combination. Uh, I said of early September. Oh. I said early September. Fourth is pretty. Well, early. You said some date in September. I, to be I, sure. I knew it was like within all the first of September. Week. It was September <laughs> in a year. Middle it was definitely in a year. It was the first week of September because we had okay. just come back from Gen Con like okay. a week or two before. Okay. So that's how long we've been doing it. Yeah, that's okay. the first that's question. Cool. That's Very cool. good. Next up, which episode of Chit Chat has the most views? 
Ooh, are you looking for a number? Or are you looking I know, for topic? I think, I'll take either, but it's really topic. And I think I know it. You think you know it? Yeah, I think I wait. know. I think it was. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't give wait, away wait. the topic because that would give Ryan House advantage. I when I did gather this answer, I'm disqualifying any of the chit chats that were. Most anticipated oh, for well, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind okay. that. Okay. Most anticipated. Well, I was like going to say. Yeah. There's yeah. a handful of those, and those are just outrageously higher yeah. than yes. anything else. Because yeah. well, like, it says top 10 in the Our like, most the anticipated time. Gen Con, I think maybe even 2018, was like one of our biggest videos of the time. And it was I, pretty that, big. that video still has a ton of views. Oh, but what wow. topics? And this is part. This is a, a little bit of a discussion. Oh, oh, I, I got, I got oh. one. I just don't know what number it is. Drop it. Uh, the topic? That I don't know what number. Oh, you know what? Is. Oh, you're really into it. You're oh, like half like off the chair. In. I, I, I like where you're going. I'm gonna drop a hint. It's episode twenty-four. Oh, so it was early. No, it's about not early. Like, but it was a top list. No, 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 no. It wasn't. Was it not but top it was ten a, worker it, placements? It's not. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. It was top ten worker placements. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, you, if you, that has to be one of our highest view videos ever. Yeah, because I don't it know was that like a big. A it, it was a big video. I it was, was watching. It was a chit chat. It was oh. a chit chat. I was watching that, mm-hmm. and I was. I, we had an insane amount of viewers on that. Like it was an insane amount of viewers. Yeah, we went through and each did our top like five I swear worker placements. That, that is our highest viewed chit chat. Well, aside from the the top titles and the most anticipated, our highest chit chat. We should get a point for being right. I'm though. sad. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to report this, and I'll tell you why in a second. Was why we don't like these games. Oh, oh yeah, that, oh. that right? those videos get a lot of views. We yeah. so don't do a lot I'll, of I just want to like take that. this moment to say, I'm not going to say that you won't ever see critical content yeah. on mm-hmm. the channel or on Chit Chat for that matter. Although Chit Chat usually is good oh. times, um, you won't. Yeah, but we do like to kind of steer clear of this type of content. I don't think it serves anyone very well too much to just say, "Hey, let's." kind of dig on yeah. some stuff well, it's very clickbaity i'm also not above clickbait yeah we have plenty of thumbnails to lure you in to watch them <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> but yes that was one of the episodes aside from that it absolutely was every single one <laughs> yeah. of those most anticipated yeah. and the worker placement was yeah. up there too I, but these the the top chit chats are sort of in the 17 to twenty thousand range on some yeah. of the, the yeah. uh, I, I think that that views. was a good topic to talk about, and I think it's every once in a while a good topic to revisit. I don't think it needs to be ever the focus of what we do here at NVM, and I don't think it ever will be. No. Like, let's be. Let's talk about the things we love about games. That's what Chit Chat is Folks, about. Folks, there's plenty in gaming to be happy and excited about, and that's what we want to yeah. focus on for sure. It doesn't uh, mean that we don't dislike games. There's plenty oh, of games we don't there like. There are there. many games. Plenty. But I don't. We don't need to drag you through the gutter yeah. with us. Uh, so number three here, how many episodes of Chit Chat were a victim oh. of COVID? Meaning, what does that even mean? How many episodes of Chit Chat were, like you were saying a second oh. ago, done live because of COVID? Like, how long did that go? When did we start? When did we? I'm end? gonna guess 35 episodes. 35. I was gonna Gosh, guess like 15. Is it? Is it really that much? It was higher? two years almost. I feel yeah, like March of two. Well, I mean, te- well, January. Did of you guys May- start doing it right away? Almost, not quite right away. It was pretty close to the beginning of the pandemic. Maybe, maybe it's closer to just 30 episodes. I think because I'm, I'm thinking we started somewhere along around 60 ish, mm-hmm. and we ended how, somewhere around 90 ish. Everyone at home is like thinking, thinking oh, "How long was COVID?" No, we didn't end around 90 because I didn't do any of those with you guys, and I was. You didn't do any of the 90s. What episode did you come in on? I well, don't, don't answer that question. Oh, he said it was cooperative. Yeah. That's the next oh, question. <laughs> Right. Um, right. Okay. So I don't remember. I guess I don't remember exactly. Can be what. taught. Right. You're maybe. Right. Was, maybe. Okay. Uh, twenty-five. I'll say twenty-five episodes. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with uh, closer to thirty. So twenty-eight. No, I'll do twenty. Boom! Yeah. Twenty-eight yeah. on the money. So my thirty wasn't far off. Actually. Yeah, yeah, but you went with twenty-five. I'm gonna go with first. Yeah. <laughs> Close I love how Ryan I goes know. back and tries to like. Well, I was pretty much yeah, right. Yeah. So. No, I'm just saying like I was in it, but I'm out originally there and I, lost. I wasn't sure because it was a while. Like we did a lot. I just want to say I have an official point. I had 28. That's like yeah, great. Yeah. We were doing I mean, them weekly nailed, for a great. while too. So that's great. also like we were doing. Yeah, more. as I was researching yeah. this, one of the first episodes we did that way. Um, actually, it wasn't one of the first episodes because we just kind of transitioned to that pretty quickly. It yeah. was in April of 21. What episode number was our first? Or no, 20. Um, 
That I can't remember. I think it was. In I the can't si- remember. I really think it was in the sixties. But one of our first episodes back was just me and you, where we kind of like introduced the new format, mm-hmm. um, not too long ago, and then we went right into like we had Isaac on, and that was a virtual one. Yeah. Um, and then we had Andrew Navarro on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. And yeah. you were on that one as well. Yeah. 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 And then we got to this format, and you know, it's. It's, it's been working. It's been good. Been fantastic. And you know, the the what else I was gonna say about the, like the COVID thing? Of course, we're not completely out of it. It's just that like there's a, wow, it it, it has changed a lot of the way content is done. Yeah, for and sure. And it's given us all more experience, mm-hmm. and we've all had to try things that we've never tried before. Uh, but Mother, it also brings like us together more as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. You know, because there's such a high level of communication, and that I think that's what mm. makes this roster so tight is because we had to work through those things and navigate them and blunders and some of the silly conversations we had before then, and us like losing our minds beforehand. Like I, my mic doesn't work. This plug is not. Oh my gosh! And you can't be in the room with the person to figure it out. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh my gosh! And it's like we were doing those live live, so it was like. The live oh live my gosh, one. it's like 6.30. <laughs> like we have to reset the whole machine. I mean, oh my goodness. But we made it. We did we it. Made what, it. You know? And one of my favorite things from all that is the fact that we've gone to this format where we're recording it, but then posting it as a premiere so that it kind of is yeah, live. So and we get to be there with you then, we, too. Because I missed really that. In, I loved yeah. being able to be on Chit Chats and literally like one-to-one communication with our yeah. fans. Like yeah. answering questions. Being able to laugh at some of the jokes people were and making And I even in the like comments. this better because we're able to get that much more involved with them. Because when we were doing it, we couldn't it's, really engage. It's tough to, yeah, yeah, it's tough to, do, well. to do both. But now it's really other. fun. You know, we can make yeah, fun of each true. other. And we can always make fun stuff. of each yeah, other. That's never going to stop. Yeah, and otherwise, we, none of us would actually watch the chit-chat after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> now we do. Uh, okay, this one is for the audience only. This is really just a throwaway because of some events that took place right before we recorded. Uh, so audience only question, which one of us in this picture is actually asleep? Oh my gosh. I'll give you a minute to a figure out minute. who is asleep. One of us fell asleep between when we recorded our top 50 and Folks. this episode of Chit Chat. And two of us, well, no, actually one of us decided to sit down and join that person. And had the loudest snore, like yawning wake up I've ever heard. Yeah, it actually startled me and Emily. I just, you know, I had to do one some of work. these kids <laughs> is doing his own thing. So Come anyway, on. no no prize here, but yeah. just for our uh, undying respect, <clears throat> answer in the comments below live if you think I mean, it you be know. Pretty, it might be obvious from the photo. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. I, thought it was I don't a know. Photo. I, I mean, I, by the way, Emily took the picture. She was not asleep. She was not. She was not asleep. If only we could have had all four of us and there could have been another, you know. (laughs) So as we wrap up all chit chats, we're going to talk a little bit about the games we've been playing. You're not going to give the answer? You're going to give the last question? No. Or the last question about Emily? You know what? I will. The answer came up below just now. It was Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, uh, before I was getting a little tired, we've been filming all weekend. We stayed up late. It's we were up pretty late last night. <laughs> and I'm usually a pretty early bird, but I actually slept later than I usually do. And like, I was just like, it was getting to me. I I've had a lot of fun this weekend recording all this stuff, but it's it's <laughs> it was a I'll lot. Tell you. Uh, it was a lot. We did a lot this weekend. We achieved quite a bit. My my wife can fall asleep quickly. Yeah, Jeremy. Sat down, yeah. and he was just, I just, he wasn't snoring, although I have been present when he's oh, been snoring in, in one of you these have. chairs during one of our live during streams. One of our li- yeah, yeah, our Gen Con live stream. Like, literally during the live stream. But today, it was just more of a, <laughs> yeah. just these long, deep breaths. I think, I think it was very Jeremy's calming sleep. and very relaxed. And then Jeremy, or uh, Ryan well, sat down and joined him, and then I was like, Emily, you got to get a picture. Yeah. And I, I, I sat down. sit here and chill. Like, if we're going to chill, I'm going to chill. Anyway, again, what? emblematic of the fun we're having. I still want to know chat. the other question, though. Emily's first chit chat. You said that was. Oh, nice. I did skip right over that, didn't yeah, I? I actually don't know the answer to that. Emily, you are disqualified from. You know, from she that. knows the answer. Well, she. I mean, we kind of had to research it ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but when was Emily's first chit chat? We are looking for the number. Bonus points if you can guess the, the topic. topic. I th- I think that to- well, this okay. might not have been the first one we did, but one of the early ones we did was. Why do you like the games that you like? That was one of the things that we did early. Like, what what makes your list? And I think it was like episode seventy one or two. 
Okay, that's so, his guess. No, no so adjustments. So I was going to go just a little bit higher than that, 76. 72? Yeah. Are we giving Ryan a yeah. chance to... No, okay. I, I just real. I don't think Emily's been in thirty episodes so far. Ryan needs a little. That's bit. That's a little. Of I forgot we're at episode one hundred. Right? I'm gonna say eighty two. It was episode eighty five. Eighty five. Oh, wow. And what and was, it was the topic? It though? was about apps in oh, games. games. And, and I will tell you, she was a hype. You've been a hype woman for one hundred since like I know <laughs> since day one. <laughs> Episode 100! Episode 100! 100! <laughs> she was like, we're almost at 100. We're almost I mean, at 100. If you go back, you probably will see her like right away. Like, we're at 100. I'm like, we're at 89. We, we, got, we, we got, got a ways to go. Okay, like, we got a ways to go. Save the energy. But the, well, the why we like games was an early one, because I remember you liking one. games yeah, yeah. based on how cute they are, I think, if I'm not misquoting. Yeah. I don't know if that was my exact quote. I'm but pretty that sure that's a misquote. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. I do remember, though, I asked her, was that her first appearance on MVM? And it was not her first appearance on MVM. Her fr- oh. Ryan stumped over here. No. Her first appearance yeah, was that same week, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when we did a yeah. playthrough of Divinus. That was, I yep. not stumped. Okay. I remember that very clearly. Well, it's easy for you to say that now. Yeah. No. <laughs> I remember that very, like, that was one of the first things. We were like, okay, let's, like, that was, was early playing. on. And, uh, honestly, that was a great play of Divinus. And I remember the it conversation was... we had of, like, because mm-hmm. I had known Emily for a couple years at that point. Mm-hmm. And, we, you know, it was like, okay, well, we really needed someone to fill out. Like, we did yeah, want to do just new the energy. two players. We were like, just come be on this Divinus live stream. And then it ended up like it was, it ended up going so well. And then we just stayed and played games and we all hung out. And we're like, come on, be and on then chat. She and then had was... to go for an interview. And as you, you <laughs> may hear no. on our other video, Don't Mess with Cthulhu was, was a test. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a lot if of fun. If she passed that, that interview, yeah, yeah. Which that was is a lot of fun. How we, we did, test everybody we, who we comes in. We did talk about did that. Did we play a that lot. right after we played? Because we had to play Divinus twice because we, we did two scenarios. Yeah. Of Divinus. We played it so Oh, did we play it that same night? I think it was that same night we played Don't Mess with Cthulhu. Like we had just finished, we were chit chatting on Divinus about, you know, Emily's. Come, like we had so much fun in that live stream. We're like, well, let's do more. This is legit turning into being at our home movies because we're no, like, yeah, we're discussing what happened funny. behind the I, scenes, I, and I, everyone's I, out there just going yeah. like, huh? I bet they're loving hearing about. <laughs> I, I people enjoy. All I kidding aside, and this, I know we joke. I just want to. I it has been fantastic to Thank have you. you. Yeah. Well, both of you, honestly, absolutely going. Like, yeah. Absolutely, all yeah. of us. But it's, I'm gonna miss. Having you around when you eventually move. move. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, Jeremy, we've always had to deal with him being far. All right, with that, I'm stepping down from a vehicle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this, is, this is my last ride. This is <laughs> an emotional roller coaster, everybody, here on Chit Chat 100. Big emotional swings <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> I'm leaving. She fades out from the chair. Like, everybody just. Oh, this should become really sad. <laughs> We're putting all the effects on David. It's We're, like one of those we movies. fade out of the chair and she Chit-chat. fades out. End game. Right, we get the we get the thing that comes up yeah, next to Jeremy's picture. Oh. Jeremy Howard never appeared on a VM again. Oh my goodness! Oh, that would be bad. No, let's talk about that. that. Just more, I know we're wrapping up, but yeah. really, the the amount of dedication it takes. Like you come down so much, and yeah. it's and yeah. like yeah. to to come down right. to make that drive. It's I know it's four hours each yeah. way. Or you have more. to leave. Yeah, you have to leave your kids. You have yeah. to leave your your wife. Like you do that because you love the game. You love the yeah. channel, and like. Yeah. That means a lot to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we love oh, having yeah. you here. I wish you could be more often, but... Yeah, and I, I love coming down here, and I we just know. want to be part of the channel, and I love what I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> and uh, if people, you know, that's how I feel at this age, in my age of my life. I always want to do things that I want to do, and I enjoy, and I enjoy not only playing the games, but I enjoy the people, and that's why I'm here. Oh. Yeah. This is a very warm and fuzzy... It's chat. episode 100. I, There's I not really a like little it. bit of emotion... So <laughs> let's let's swallow our emotions for a minute okay. and talk about some games that we've been yeah, playing. Yeah. Not too many. We've been playing some this week. I don't want to trample over some of the games we've been playing that are also part of our top fifty because you got to watch those videos. Yeah. But what have we been playing? Me, Anyone? I'll start. Let me start with because we just got back from Origins not too long ago. Mm-hmm. So we've been playing through some of our Origins titles that we brought back with us. Um, we played uh, Space Station Phoenix, which is one that I played a couple times now. Uh, and Jeremy and I actually got to talk about it on film. You'll see that in a few days. Uh, I played um, I played Clinic for the first time recently. Oh, wow. All this stuff that I'll probably talk about in depth later, but the one I do want to talk about that we actually got to play, because we played two games in a row, Wormholes, which oh. we got from AEG, and then I finally was like, David, I got to teach you Nidalevere. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Because I... So 
I've had the opportunity to play wormholes twice now at two at different player accounts, which was we'll talk about on video because it was very vastly different experiences playing at different player accounts with that game. So that yeah. was that was kind of cool to get to see that. I do want to point out specific to wormholes. Ryan and I have actually recorded a thing already on wormholes, but after having played it another time with more players. I think we're probably going to re-record that. Well, we've, yeah, I mean, we did a first impressions where we literally had just played it, and then now we've played it a few more times at different player counts. We've gotten some more insights into the game, and I think it's, like, we should really double down and, like, focus in and, on that game. And not so. that our opinion has changed really much at all or anything like that, but it is a very different experience yeah. at different player counts. It's worth talking about. And I about. think it's worth talking about in the video. So that's just, you know... It was just, what, 20 minutes of our yeah, time? So right. it's, it's 20 minutes more of our time recording. Okay. But if you didn't want me to trample on Niddle of Ear, then Uh-oh. you better be talking about Niddle of Ear. Because that was... Oh, that I what you're talking about? So I, well, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. But Niddle of Ear, I have not played it. I'd mentioned this earlier. Mm-hmm. Jeremy had been telling me that I should play it. And I finally did. Uh, Ashette Games was kind enough to send us a copy of that. And Thing of Ear, which I haven't played it with Thing of Ear. Okay. But after we played our game... And you've never played it with the expansion either. I actually either. haven't. But we said, well, let's crack it. We were opening the rules and we're like, oh, this is cool. Like, it, like it's just kind of more of the game, but also not just more cards that fill the, you know, all the different things where the cards are, but there's a whole nother plate with a whole nother display of cards that is separate and you can kind of go there and buy cards. Knit of Lear is a simple game. Uh, if you're on BGA, it's probably one of the most played these games. Yeah. played games it definitely is within our discord yeah definitely. yeah people are always playing in fact i mentioned on our discord and if you're watching and you know it i said why have why has no one else other than jeremy said you got to play well, obviously i said it because i made and, you play it. And, well that's true well i mean we did have it to be, to, be, to be fair people in the discord said uh the number of times we've had that in the bga channel it's of discord always, yeah. like it's always like, they said this one's on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's literally like there's almost always a Niddle of Ear game going on at BGA. All you gotta do is join our Discord, pop into the BGA, and say Niddle of Ear, and people will be there in an instant yeah. playing with you. For sure. It's yeah, true. and I'll probably be one of them mm-hmm. at some point soon. Uh, but yeah, I want to get this played with everyone. I played it with my sons. I haven't played it with Alicia and her family yet, but I do think it's one of those games that could just end up becoming a game that, like, an extended family gathering always wants to get out and play. Sure. Because you can play it, I think, up to five. And it's just a simple, straightforward game that I think has a lot of things that will please a lot of people. It's very satisfying. Yes. I have a couple games that I want to talk about. And one of them is Bot Factory, which we put out some content Mm -hmm. for. But I loved it. It was so much fun. It's one of those that I'm like looking at it right now and I'm like, oh, I just want to play it again. Really? (laughs) Yeah, I really do. I liked it a lot. Um, And it's kind of like Kanban, but a more streamlined experience, a lot more accessible, easier to get to the table, much faster teach. Um, so very excited about that one. If you haven't checked out their campaign, definitely do so. Um, it might be over now. But... I don't know if it's... Well, I mean, depending on when you're watching this, it might be. Well, true. I mean... But you can always get a copy somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to so, go to Late Pledge. You'll be able to get it sure. from their yeah. web store, I'm sure. The other one I played recently for the first time um, was Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. You and that, that was one where I played it with a friend. And after playing it, I was like, oh, my God. I don't know why I haven't played this yet. I really like it. Because it's a space game. That's why you yeah, had to play it. Yeah, that's probably why. I mean, to be honest, Terraforming Mars wasn't really my jam. And I don't really know why. Like, it, I think it was just the time I played it and the experiences I had. I love the mechanics, but something about it just didn't hit we right for me. We have the exact same feeling. Exactly, and we have the exact right? same feelings about Terraforming Mars. Yeah. Prediction. I love like, I just prediction. love that game. I like I that love game. that game. Way more than I would ever. Love. Like, I just like, I'd rather play that game. I know. I bought it T-Mars, right after we played stay it. Stay at my house. <laughs> and and I, I love Race for the Galaxy. Yeah. So it felt like, it didn't feel like Terraforming Mars, the card game to me. It felt like. Race for the Galaxy, the Terraforming Terra Mars, Mars Edition. Yeah. Okay. And so I was I like, like cool, this is a lot of fun. This yeah. is like Race for the Galaxy, but Terraforming Mars instead. Yeah. Yeah. And we played it with, I played it with my partner who has also played Terraforming Mars and Race for the Galaxy. And the teach is so easy yeah. if yeah. you've played both of them. Because it's, you literally can tell them it's just combining both of them. And then they already know the iconography. They already know how things are played. And it's very simple to pick up. Yeah. Wait wait till you play some of the modular content coming with the expansion. Oh yeah. Because man, this is a, it's a it's great. I got the chance to play the prototype. There's some cool stuff like those those action cards. 
there's now like an opportunity to upgrade them to like better versions. So like we might oh, actually that would be nice. Yes. Yeah, we might be having different ones. And there's also like a cooperative expansion. There's a solo new solo mode coming okay. for it. Yeah, I'm Ready. excited. I'm Ready excited. spaghetti. <laughs> I'm excited for the expansion. Yeah. Jeremy, uh, what about you? So we, I, I've recently been playing a lot of Space Station Phoenix. Uh, we mm. we plan. I've been playing a lot of it, uh, preparing for a review, which we recorded this weekend, and you'll probably see it very soon. Uh, depending on when you're watching, you might see it before you see this Jeremy. <laughs> uh, but we're 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 gonna, we're gonna have a review for that soon. We just recorded myself and Ryan, uh, so you'll find out my thoughts on that one. The one that I wanted to talk about was a game that I thought was the most surprising at Origins, and that was the Cat in the Box game. Oh. We played oh, it yeah. again last yeah. night. Uh, I love trick taking; it's one of my favorite mechanics. You didn't see, you won't see a lot of that in my top fifty. I'll blow that. <laughs> but uh, but I, it, pound for pound, I do play a lot of them, like a lot of trick-taking games. Some pretty crazy ones from China and Japan. So we actually play one that comes from Japan, Cat in the Box. Uh, it's got a real interesting twist on how tricks are made, but it's also got an area control element to it. And uh, I just found that design to be very, very interesting and unique. We have been playing it wrong and enjoying it. That's, and that's true. That's the thing. Playing a game wrong and absolutely enjoying it. And when I say play wrong, like the whole like thing, right. other than how to place a card down on the table, we were playing it wrong. It was, we corrected right. our, but, we got but, it. We, we got no, it. I'm saying before that, at Origins, that like I was oh. still like, yeah, I mean, it was just wrong. But when we got it home and we finally figured it out, it made the game even better. Because it was like, oh, wow, now this is a whole different ball game. Certainly very different. Whole, whole, new, whole new ball game, and it got very strategic. We had to talk through things, we were arguing about things, and it was, you know, I just found that there was a lot of good emotions at the table, and it was yeah. all because of that little box game. And uh, <laughs> I, 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 I enjoy that game quite a bit. Uh, I, yeah, I will say, I want to say, I, I think like what I've heard from several people now yeah. is that it may have been getting taught wrong at Origins. Yeah. So I hate yeah. to say that, but I've heard that. So if you bought Cat in the Box at Origins, and you never read the rules. You're just going off the teach. You got it. Read the Go rules. Maybe the rules. you should read the yeah. rules read because the rules we were actually scoring very wrong. Yeah. And so we we realized that and fixed it. But you know, after that, the first hand, honestly, that, that yeah. can happen with a game like this where there's so much going on. Yeah. yeah, I would say that game. If you're a fan of trick taking games, if you're a fan of things like The Crew and just where they take trick taking and turn Mess it on its it. ear yeah. and like, like Skull go, King, I think oh, is a good this one. Is wild. For that. This game really makes you think in a, think a lot. very different way. But anyway, that's the games we've been playing. Tell us about the games you've been playing down yeah. below. And this was Chit Chat episode 100. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And remember, for all of those games that we listed at the beginning that we're giving away, you've seen little things pop up with code words. Just email mvmcontest at gmail.com with that code for the particular game in the subject line and nothing else. You will will have your email. You could put your probably your name or something in there, but really you just helpful. need to send us that email <laughs> with your basic information to be entered for a chance and, to and win. And by that one he really games. means address. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't, we, yeah, don't, right. we don't need your like, yeah, mother's maiden name. We, like. we really don't need your address quite yet. When we pick a winner, we'll need one. <laughs> sure. But just make sure to do the email if you want to win the game, because yeah. it's not going to be the comments this time. And we've got a lot of good games to give away. So if you're joining us late, it's time to rewind and check out that game Go list. Back. Yeah. Go back and watch it. But again, thank you for joining us here for episode 100. Hopefully, we have another 100. Yeah. In, left in, in us. us another five years yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see well, maybe even less than five it years it might take less than five years to get the second hundred we're not going to start doing chit chats every night or anything <laughs> like that yeah. Yeah. uh but yeah, yeah thank you for joining us until next time make sure everyone has fun at the table and we'll see you then <laughs>